Hello, this is Christian. Welcome to episode 5 of this PHP Stocks application using PDO. This is a bonus video, a bonus chapter. I want to talk about the SQL injection. I'm just show you one example how that can be very dangerous to your code. So here is our application we built before. Now I went ahead and added this new tab called Add Stock. And all I did was basically add a new um, task to add and show the add form. And then we're going to add the company, you know, a new stock to the uh, database. That's all there is to it. So we can go in here and add a new company, for example, say, well, let's see. So our stock, we have 50 of them, as you can see towards the bottom here. Okay, I'm going to add a new one and just say my company, uh, my CO, um, in the data sector, this price will be like 555. Okay, really cheap here. Okay, so submit. And so I'm added view of my stock. Uh, at the very bottom, I should be able to see my 51 list. Okay, there it is. All right, so um, so this example to show you the danger of not uh, sanitizing your data. Okay, so let's go back and see the code here. So here again, just show you briefly what I did. I added a new airline here, adding to the T's add, add new stock, and then um, I add a new form here. This is just an add form. It's going to go to the same file, which is the index, and the methods can be a post. So we're going to hide the data in the body of the uh, query. And very basic stuff, the company, symbol, sector, and then the submit and reset button. Okay, so this is pretty straightforward. In the index, I added a new variable to show the add form, just like the show table. I set it to false, and um, if, it's, if it's not selected, right? So the task right here, we I did not change that. I added a new one down here. If the task equal add, then we change the form to true and then show that form instead. Okay, so down here, in the body, um, I added it else if in between here. If it's show table, you show the um, stocks table. Otherwise, if it's show form, we show the add form here. And then otherwise, show the other message down here. Okay. And when we submit the form, it's a, it's a post. So up at the top here, I add a new if set post submit. If so, then I collect the data from the form company, symbol, sector, price. The first uh, few is null, that ID. Pass it to data. And it would pass that to the insert data record from the DB uh, class. Insert that data to the database. If it's successful, then we say new stock added. Otherwise, it has some error. Okay, pretty straightforward stuff. So that's what we did, right? So uh, now let's go and modify the DB function to, function here to show you the the dangerous uh, part. So here we're using the PDO or we're using a prepare statement, right? So we um, this is the safety issue, right? So now, since we're doing this way, you prepare, you add, you're actually sending the instructions ahead. So the instruction gets over, it, it doesn't execute. Um, but then, you know, there's no data to execute. So we send our data later. That's why it's it's pretty safe. Now, let's say I'm going to change this to use the old or the tr traditional way of doing things and not using this prepared statement. Okay, so uh, let's just return, you know, do everything all over here again. It's going to be short. So query is going to be insert into the table, and then the values will be, so you have the first is going to be null, the second is going to be data of one, and then data of two, oops, right, and then data of three, data of four, this is the stock. And we terminate that. Uh, it's incorrect. Let's see, this is a comma. All right, and then we terminate that statement, and then we're gonna do a. Um, uh, I'll do a. Um, you know, we could do the same thing, but um, well, let's see. Return. No, just do a this query, PDO. I just do a query, or well, you can execute. Either way, execute a query, it doesn't matter. Um, the statement, which is the query. And then we just return true with this one, okay? We force it to be true. Okay, so that's the, the standard way to do it, right? You you actually are passing variables to each of these positions here instead of doing this placeholders. And then you execute that and you return statements. And just to make sure it works, we just go back and add a new company. Okay, so add another one here. This will be your company. Uh, YCO, it was going to be in the, uh, I don't know, uh, 
what grocery sector maybe <clears throat> and your price is 34.56 okay so submit good we added let's see if it's there should we did 52 so there it is okay so now here's the danger part all right so this is their company <laughs> okay so tco <clears throat> sector will be um unknown right <laughs> so the price let's just say that um 12 dollars and then you they enter something like this okay it's very dangerous here <clears throat> so and i put here because this part here as you can see if i if i go back and look in the code show you why it's dangerous but that will cancel out the statements um, if i were to do this again let me just do this uh, this insert statement if i had the insert statement to look like this insert into um, the table which is called stock once you parse it right so it would look something like this the first is going to be null the second is the data so this is a string of let's say that um, you know their co and the third will be the symbols tco uh, the sector will be unknown and then the price will be uh, this right <clears throat> i enter that here 12 well let's do this so it will look something like that right the price it was 12 and then i enter that and that and that oops i shouldn't replace that let's try again so 12 dollars and i enter that no i didn't like it let me just copy and paste right in here so in here i want to put like that okay this is from the form as you can see this part here as you can if you look at this it cancels out right it cancels out the statement here it ends right here and then this part is now open. We have an incomplete. It will still look like that, right? So it's incomplete part. But I can add another statement over here to do something like, okay, I want to delete from the stock. And then you close that. So you have a second statement here. And this part will error out, so it won't work. But what you can do in SQL Server and also um, MySQL Server is you put the dash dash. And what that means, as you can see, it, it actually comment this out. So this whole thing will be ignored. And so I insert a second statement here to actually delete the stock table. So we can see that's very dangerous. So if I copy this, if I take this out, see, it looks just like the other one, right? If I put 12, and that's exactly what you get. So that's why it's so dangerous. Now let's go to the code, I mean the form, and put that in here. <clears throat> okay so now watch happens if I go submit it says I added a stock but when I view the stock all gone right it's 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 gone you can check the database to just make sure you can browse it and there it is it's no data here so you can see how dangerous this can be you can do more damages to this thing so again if I go back and reset it get more stock and my data are back again right now I can do it again, do another one here, um, some co SEO, um, <clears throat> uh, whatever, test, and then here again, just put here, whatever. As long as you canceled out that part, so you cancel that out, and then the rest is like open to you do whatever you want. Um, pretty much you can drop, this is a very dangerous drop table called stock. Okay, again, the same syntax. So now what happened is if as you submit that, it's gone. If you try to view the stock, okay, now it's gone. You can see that now it's no longer working. You go to the database and you refresh it. And now I just lost my table. Okay. What's worse, you can even drop the database. I didn't do drop database, but you could say drop the uh, database and then the name of my database if I know what that is, and it's gone. So that's why it's so dangerous if you don't sanitize your data, if you don't use the prepare statement nowadays to do it this way and just show that it does work, let's go back and use the other one again, the traditional or the regular uh, one we did, we did earlier. Let me turn this back off again. Now we're using the saved one, right? So I'm gonna try to, try to use the same method to uh, try to attack this site. But I lost my data, so um, I already, you know, lucky me, I already saved my, um, <laughs> uh, queries are going to import it back in here 
um, let me just do SQL. I have it somewhere, I think. I want to import. Uh, what did I save it? Yeah, I saved it somewhere. I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, I don't know where, but I think I have it somewhere. Let me see if I can get it from my other screen over here. This is the stock table. So I copy my code over here. Yeah, this is the one that I, I want I want to use. Okay, this is the stuff that I downloaded. I saved it before I actually do the delete, so make sure I copy that. Just copy all of that. And then I'm gonna go and uh, just insert into the SQL to recreate my table back. Okay, so my stock table should be back. So here it is. Okay, so now I can go and then um, add some data again. So there it is. Okay, so now we already changed the code back to the safe one, right? So I if you, let's close this. So oops, what happened? Um, yeah, I already used the. Um, I removed that already. We're using back to the original one. Okay, the uh, placeholders. Now let's go and enter the same code and see what happens. Add stock. Let's be uh, there. Cco tco um, unknown. And I had was like 12 and then that. If I try to delete table stock. Okay, so if I click submit, there we go. And if I view the stock, see it's all there, right? If I look at the very bottom, and there's the company. I add it here, it's $12. So you can see that the second statement was completely ignored. It doesn't matter what you put there because um, it ignored that part. And what happens was behind the scene when you do something like this, um, this statement here, it ends it right here, wherever it was before. Um, and then the next statement is no longer um, working because it doesn't execute that statement because uh, there's no placeholder for that data. So it's, it's not even doing anything to that part. So it will ignore that. Uh, it only matches the data here. And again, there's only a placeholder. And we send the actual data after the statement or the instructions been sent to the database. So that's why it's safe to do this. Okay, so this is one example. You can do so much more, um, especially like login stuff. You can do a trick to do a uh, um, you know a query to make sure you can log in without even logging in, right? Um, you can trick that as well by using something like you know one equals one because that's always be true, right? So uh, that's one example of how using prepare statements can safely protect your code. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, video series. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.